believe it. I'm so excited. Um, my name is Prue or Prue LaRue. And today I have a collab with my, like one of my best friends on like the planet, I would say. I met her through Instagram and then YouTube. We've collabed a few times and it is the amazing Annette's Maple Corner. I mention her like way too often on my channel, but it's because I watch like all her videos. I talk to her. I was people necklace from her and I know this is a sentiment that a lot of you would also feel. If you've been on my channel, you definitely know Annette's Makeup Corner and if you're coming from Annette's Makeup Corner, I'm sure you feel the same way as this. She sent me this beautiful necklace that says, good friends are like stars. They're not always there, but you know that they are there. Is that it? And I just, I feel like that's how a lot of us feel with watching Annette and she is so approachable and easy to talk to and she's just amazing. I love her. And I'm so excited because one of her subscribers sent her the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And um, I like this palette quite a bit. She knows this. This is where the clamp came from. I'm a bit of an Alyssa Edwards stan. stan. And I even made sure to order the giant fan. Which I do need because I just, I overheat. Oh my God. I was super excited for this palette. I have filmed a few videos with it, but Annette, she came up with the great idea. I think it's great idea of choosing the five shadows that we would each use. And uh, she made the mistake of choosing mine first. And then I chose hers. And look, I know. <laughs> like, I enjoy this palette, but that's because I also enjoyed neutrals because this palette is quite neutral. Like if you cover up this section, you've got six shades and they're all neutral. I did give her like a smidge of color. So I'm so <laughs> sure it's still gonna be amazing. But the first thing when I sent her my choices was she just sent me sabotage. And I was like, yeah, exactly. Now, if you don't know, I, me and I go back like quite a while now. And it took me forever to find this video, but I knew there was one video. And this is from 10 months ago when she was doing the full makeup lookbooks, which was like a super cute series. I love it. And I'll link it down below. She did a neutral bronzy look because I think I had been annoying her for like way too long to do it. So if you do want to see Annette do a bronze look without the color that I gave her, I'll link the video down below and you can go check it out. I love the eye combinations that she comes up with. She is a genius. And you know, I feel like you probably only need to see like one or two neutrals from someone, really. So I'll link them here below. But I made sure, I felt so bad when I had made her do it because she, in the video she's like, I'm not happy about doing this. Anyway, so I've commented a lot on said video um, a long time ago. I think I made it, I feel like, I commented maybe a hundred times or like, was it 60? I've made a comment that was saying 60 times. There's other people who've been there now, so I don't know anymore. But I remember being the first one to this video and commenting a bucket load. Anyway, I thought it would be fun to share some of that history. Go annoy her on her bronze look <laughs> video from ages ago. Um, Anyway, I'm so excited to do this collab today and the colors she chose me. She was very nice to me. She chose uh, Brick Road. What is it? Oh, wait, I've got them in, I put them in the order I wanted them. She chose me Beyond, Inspire, Brick Road, Texas Made, and Believe, which is like a very fun color range to play with. I thought I'd try and do a look that's maybe inspired by her, but as much as I try, I don't think I'll ever be as talented as Annette. I did like make sure to wear a bit of flannel. I feel like she is not wearing flannel these days anymore, but like a strappy t-shirt. I feel like she's always got some snazzy style going on. And yeah, I'll bring you in. Let's start playing with some shadows and then I will like talk to you. I will talk a lot because I could talk forever about how much I love Annette. And look, if, if you aren't subscribed to her, like you're, what, what, go subscribe. And like, absolutely, if you haven't watched her video yet, make sure to go watch it, because I cannot wait to see what she pulls out with the colors I gave her. All right, so I've had a bit of a ponder. I've got products on my face already, obviously. I put the ABH primer down. This increases on me so quickly. And I know Annette reviewed this and didn't like it, but she told one of her other friends, Julia's Galaxy, about liking it. And then Julia watched a video of mine where she, I was complaining about wanting like a creamier primer or something like that. And she was like, Annette told me to buy it and I actually love it. So I was like, bugger it, I'm gonna get it. And I do enjoy it, it's quite nice, but like, man, it creases. And that's just like the joys of having hooded eyes. I'm sorry, I'm way more hyped than I thought I was. Maybe, should I take a bit of a chill pill? 
So we're going to start off by taking Brick Road, which is this yellow. I'm just going to put this in my inner part. Wow. So I wish I could make as much content as I wanted. I am obviously a micro channel if you're new here. I think I'm at like 420 subscribers, which I'm so grateful for. And I just like, I remember watching it at like 100 and being like, whoa, 100 people watch me or subscribe to me like they thought I was good enough to subscribe to. It's just amazing to me. And now to be at 400 is crazy. And then also to look at the crazy growth that growth, the crazy growth that Annette has had in her channel. It's just absolutely inspiring. I think she's almost at 13K, almost 15K. I remember sending her a... I don't, I don't know, I don't want to my own horn here. Um, but I remember congratulating her on 5,000. And I also remember like when she was at 1,000, like, can you believe she was there for 1,000? I remember signing in on my, oh, like my another one of my YouTube accounts and making sure to subscribe to her because I think she was at like 998. And it's just so amazing to see how, how she's just like slaying the game. I love how different her looks are. She's always like on point getting those reviews up quick with new palettes. She plays with so many indie brands and like her color combinations are inspired. Her skill, oh my god. Uh, so if you are new here or if you, you know, you've missed me mention it before, uh, I am a, like I work pretty much full time as a registered nurse and I try, like I try and get like my main goal is to try and get at least three videos up a week. Well, sometimes it's just impossible with work. It's just super hard. I just find we it takes me a long time to wind down from my shifts. Sometimes I work in intensive care and it can just be a lot emotionally. And that is why I love coming here and playing with makeup and being in my happy place with makeup and just the friends I've made along the way. Cause I have made a lot of beautiful friends here. Yeah, we just, uh, like me and Annette were recently in the collaboration for Paulina's blush trap that went up, uh, with an amazing group of people. And I believe like, I think Annette's like collabed with everyone who was in that collab. I'm going to go on with my original thought and I'm going to use a Texas made, which is this pink. I've just used like my sponge thing to clean the brush off. And then we're going to go in there. So because we've got the yellow, we're going to be creating a beautiful orange, ambient gradient blended beauty oh, sorry Annette is just one of the biggest supports and like my I probably wouldn't still be creating if it wasn't for her support and like I hope that's not putting too much pressure on her because that's she's just amazing I would still be I don't know I just I do love playing with my makeup and buying makeup and eyeshadow palettes like I am obsessed the problem I find is that I am well hopefully obviously Australian and I just can never get anything when it releases uh quickly and I've had so many disappointments on my channel when I've been so excited to get something quickly and that like I can share it with you guys and also play with it as soon as possible and then the shipping just takes forever and it's expensive and it's just like it's so sad and being Australian miss, means we miss out on so many cool makeup releases that you guys have I don't know, my dream is to go to America and go shopping I want to buy like I want the Flower Beauty sponge I don't know that thing sounds magical and it's not here yet I want to look at Milani I want to try that eyeshadow thing I want LA Splash eyeliners because Annette keeps using it and I want to play with it <laughs> It has been in my cart on Beauty Bay for a while, but I don't know. I just, I've never taken the plunge with Beauty Bay before. I just find that they tend to like upcharge a lot of their palettes and it's sometimes cheaper to just pay the shipping. And at least that way I get it pretty quickly. Like, I don't know. I hear, I've heard that Beauty Bay takes forever. So I'm going to go into my outer corner and then I'm going to put Believe, which is our purple. Oh, and I put eye primer underneath my eye. This is the first time ever I did it. But Annette has been doing it, I think, like, maybe since the, like, beginning of her channel. But recently I've seen all these other people doing it. I'm like, did you get the idea from Annette? Because I think so. I don't know. 
Let me know what you think. Or is this like a tip that everyone has known except for me for so long? And I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like stubborn. So I don't want to do new things. I'm sorry I said. I'm, I know I said my outer corner. But I decided to do my under eye. I hope that's okay. Because you really don't have much choice. I guess I should bring this up like this. And like for being jealous of Americans. I believe Annette is at Sephora. Sephora? right now um checking out all the new releases and doing a natasha denona master class oh my god that sounds amazing i am so jealous of those sort of things we do get like we actually do get a few events here mecca which is i don't know what it like it's like our sephora but we also have sephora so it's super confusing but they both have different brands that they're allowed to have so they do actually have brand events quite regularly i know like if you're interested the easiest way is to go and ask in the store local to you if you're australian sorry it's probably only i think my channel is like 26 percent in australia <laughs> so you can go into your local maker store or call them and ask them if there's a brand event coming up or if you're a beauty loop member you can log on and look at upcoming events um and you can look at different places and it actually has different events that might be going on currently i think Chermside have a Smashbox event next week and Winter Gardens. Sorry, I'm in Brisbane again. Winter Gardens, which is in Queen Street. They have a Too Faced event coming up soon. And I've been to Stiller, Too Faced, and they also had a Mecca event after their Mecca. Like, it's like their version of Sephora uh, that I went to because I didn't want to go to Sydney for Sephora. I'm waiting patiently for it to come to Brisbane. So we do get like a few things and like I'm so grateful for them because I've had so much fun and it is super cool to go and do them. The Stiller event was probably my favorite because we sat at like the round desk and they talked you through a look with Stiller products and you just, I don't know, like it really did cement my love of a few Stiller products. And I just love like a fancy shopping experience. Alright, and I figure I might as well like cut the crease because I feel like it. Anyway, um... Yes, I can't wait. She said she's, Annette said she's going to try and vlog Sephora. I don't know. I like, she hasn't posted any stories. I've been waiting. Because I remember last time, was it she missed out on Sephora, but she did go to IMATS. She went to IMATS and then she was sick for the last Sephora maybe. Anyway, so I've been super excited. I've seen Treadmood. I've been watching Treadmood's page and the releases are starting to pop up. It is an exciting time. I don't know. Are you like me? I just can't, I can't stop looking at makeup. So like, I don't even need to buy any, but I just want to look at it. And like, I do want to buy it all. Oh my God, that did that trick so quickly. Yes, I do love this stuff. I think this is the first time I've tried cut creasing with this. Anyway, I'm super excited to see even like a net Sephora haul or whatever she ends up doing. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to go in with Beyond, which is like getting a bit crumbly. Oh, and the fallout is fierce. I think I'm just gonna have to spritz it, but just to avoid the fallout a little bit more. So I would love to know what, if you are from Annette's channel or even if you're from my channel, like what is one of your favorite videos that Annette has done? I just should be curious. And like, it was so cute going back and looking at the full lookbook because like, I remember when she had that background and that hair and it feels like a lifetime ago because so much has changed. <laughs> And then going in with, is this my final shade? I think it is. Oh my God, sorry. I feel like I've gone quieter and quieter as the video has gone on. Yeah, it's just crazy to think where we're all, I don't know, where like this YouTube journey has taken me and the people I've met along the way. I'm so grateful and I'm so grateful for every single one of you who is watching this video right now. You mean the world to me. And then let's just try and blend these in a little bit together. We don't want no harsh edges. Oh, I feel like we need a little bit. I think I'm just going to put Inspire on my inner corner as well. I don't know. I just love, like, I love a little bling bling on my corner. All right. Well, I'm going to duck off quickly and put some mascara on, some waterline stuff. 
do my lips no I shall be back all right so on my lips I have a sugar peel lip in cubby and for mascara no surprise benefit bad girl bang I've got NYX epic ink liner which I like did like a bit of wing action they are uneven I'm never gonna win that battle and Colourpop in gold digger on my waterline I love matching my inner corner with my waterline and I realized I put the Anastasia primer up a bit too high but luckily and I'm sure this won't be breaking any rules because it's the same palette but luckily this is quite a neutral palette so I reckon if I just go in with this one yeah the supreme a little bit and hopefully this will just bring it down a little bit just so it's not that sharp white I don't know I'm still finessing how I want to use this palette like primer I think you've really got to know where you where you want to put it I reckon that's like not as intense anymore so let's show you what it all looks like I feel like it's just like a little bit too harsh out here so I'm just gonna try and blend these into each other a little bit more with a clean blending brush so, I think that's pretty good I think I'm pretty happy with that what do you think let me know this is the final look I'm so excited to be doing this collab with my beautiful friend Annette uh, make sure to go and subscribe to her if you're new here I would be honored if you would consider subscribing to me or at least checking out some of my other content and see if I'm your jam if we can be friends I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family and I cannot wait to see what Annette did with the colors I chose her it's gonna be fun <laughs> anyway I absolutely appreciate and adore you thank you so much for stopping by Mwah.